Hello everyone, welcome to a new video, a new planty video. It is me Desiree and it is time for plant favorites, March plant favorites. I have a few plants I want to shout out that I won't stop looking at and touching and messing with all month. I just love them so much as well as a few pots that are so cute. I have to give them a shout out. So the first plant I can't get over is this one. Look at it. Doesn't this look like a work of art? I swear every single day I point it out to my boyfriend and go, look at that art. Isn't that art? This is a ZZ Zenzi and this is actually on my wish list. I wrote down all the plants that I, I want to do a video on my plant wish list and this was one of them on it and I can't believe I actually found it in real life. I never ever thought I would see one in real life. Um, it's just so beautiful the way it grows. It's got these really thick um, stems. Let me turn it around really thick stems and then just the way that the leaves grow on it they're just like in this perfect row it's just a work of art look at the way it's growing um i put it in this pot that I actually got at target this was three dollars and it is like it looks like a high-end ceramic pot i went back to see if they had any more and they didn't they only had the one when i went to get it um but they didn't have any more but maybe as they're restocking i know they got their spring stuff out now maybe you'll find it they had these in the like when you first walk in like their dollar spot i know they call it something else now but you know what i'm talking about but look at this plant i can't get over it it just looks absolutely gorgeous and it was in a plastic planter and when i was driving home with it it tipped over it was all ugly but when i repotted it look at it it's a work of art i can't get over it it's so beautiful and I got to uh, cross a plant off my wish list. I actually got this in Las Vegas, Nevada. I was there last weekend and the hotel we stayed at was right next to a nursery. So I walked over there on the day we were checking out and I found this and I lost my mind. I can't believe it. I can't believe I saw this in real life. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. I look at it every day and I just can't. I mean, look at it, beautiful. Um, as far as I know, care and stuff about ZZ, it's very easy. Um, the ZZ is very easy. You just kind of let it sit there and live its life. Um, give it some light, it'll flourish for you. It doesn't need a lot of water because it has like these really big bulbs kind of where the roots are at. And um, it stores a lot of water in there because it's used to going a long time without water and living in an area that has a lot of drought. So Hopefully this one is the same care as the other ZZ that's really, really easy and oh, I just love it. Look at it. I just love the way it's growing. So beautiful. I can't, I can't shut up about it. I love it so much. Okay, I'll stop. The next plant I want to talk about is this Peperomia Ruby Cascade. Look how beautiful this looks. Doesn't it look just like I don't know, a waterfall or something. Um, I got this at a local nursery and I did look it up before I purchased it because I want to make sure it wasn't going to be too hard of care. And from what I read, it's kind of easy like a lot of other peperomias, but the peperomia like family of plants is all over the place. Some of them look like succulents. Some of them look like delicate pieces of paper. Like the peperomias go all over the place. I feel like the care for them is a little different plant to plant. This is one that I, I care for almost like a succulent kind of plant. The leaves are very thick and succulent-like, and um, I feel like I can go longer without watering this because I feel like they're storing a lot of water in their leaves. I don't know if that's correct, but that's how I've been caring for this, and it's really loving it. I mean, it grew all of this since I've had it. I've had this probably two months. I feel like I've had it longer than that, but I'm gonna, I feel like two months, maybe three. And I absolutely love it. It just looks so beautiful. And I love that the top is full. You know, sometimes plants only grow from one side and you can see all the soil on the top, like these big bald spots. And this one grows really, really full. It also grows so fast. Like I said, it was mostly just the top and like a little bit hanging over the edge when I got it. And it's grown all of this. Um, I do have this in a room under a skylight. It's not the brightest light in the world, but it does get light all day long. So I think that might be helping with it. And I just think it's so beautiful. Um, I do kind of wait till the leaves tell me that it needs water because this plant, from what I've learned, likes to be dried out. And I kind of wait till the leaves get a little bit soft and a little tiny bit of wrinkling on them. And then I completely soak it, drench it in water um, for a couple of hours till it's like super heavy, sopping wet. And then I leave it like that. And it seems to be doing really well with that kind of care. Just look at it. I think it's so absolutely beautiful. 
Uh, yeah, so pretty. I do really want to repot this into something else, but the plant is just so delicate and these vines are so thin. And if I move it too much, like a bunch of the leaves fall off. So I would love to repot it into something nice because I think it looked nice in one of those pots that the ZZ Zenzi is in. But I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm afraid to repot this delicate little guy. So maybe I'll find a cover pot or something to put it in because I think it would look nicer in something else. But I love the plant so, so much. I can't wait to see when it just like grows all long and crazy. Oh, it's so beautiful. All right, next up are string of plants. So I have the string of pearls here and I have owned this before and it's no longer with us. I also had a string of bananas, a string of dolphins, the jade necklace one, uh, and they're all no longer with us. I had no idea how to take care of these. I didn't know that they liked to be dried out. I really didn't know anything about succulents, to be honest. Um, but I feel like I've learned a little bit, and I thought I would try string of pearls again, and I ended up buying this little tiny guy from a local nursery, I think it was $2. And it's doing so well. It isn't a tiny little terracotta from the Dollar Tree. Although someone left me a comment the other day and said that they potted up some other plants in Dollar Tree terracotta and the plants weren't doing well at all. So I'm gonna keep an eye on the ones I planted in these Dollar Tree ones, but so far this one's doing really well. I have this in a uh, west facing window in the windowsill and it lives there. It's stayed there all winter. It did just fine in the winter time and it actually grew this little vine here. It's growing these, this and this and it's just doing so well. So I felt I was doing really well with this little guy so I went and got a bigger one. I feel like I might end up potting this little one in there somehow or maybe I'll just have the two. It's fine. Um, but I went and bought a bigger one. I did repot it right away because one thing I learned from Nick Nick Pelegi or Pelegi, you know who he is. I'll link him in the description box in case you don't. He has a YouTube channel all about plants. He's so informative and just so interesting to watch. He talked about string of pearls and he said, repot it right away. He said, right away, get it out of the plastic planter, put it in something terracotta or like an unglazed clay or whatever. Uh, and that way it'll continue to wick away moisture and it won't get overwatered because that's usually what kills a succulent is overwatering. But this one's doing so well. I did repot it right away. And I did go with a little less soil in here instead of putting the soil all the way to the top and putting the plant in because I wanted it to be like a full inside the pot kind of plant. And I love the way it came out. I love it. And it loves life. It grew this whole little stem here. It's putting out a bunch of new little babies. And it's doing so well. I'm so happy. I'm so proud of myself. It's doing amazing. My next thing I want is a variegated string of pearls. Um, I saw a variegated string of pearls at the local nursery. It was probably about this big uh, and it was before I had bought these and I had a heart attack because I've never seen variegated string of pearls in my whole life. I probably will never see another one. Um, I didn't buy it because I just knew immediately that I would kill it, but I'm doing really well with these two. I feel like if I see it again, I might want to get it. I don't know. I feel like I'm doing well with these. I really like it. Uh, anyway, I wait until um, the little beads, the string of pearls, tell me that they need water because this thing can stay dried out for a really long time. I wait until they get a little bit pruney and a little bit wrinkled on them. Not the whole entire plant, but once um, a little bit of them are kind of wrinkled, then I water it. And it seems to do really well with that kind of care. And I haven't overwatered it at all. So, so far so good with these and I love it. So I was doing so well with those, I went and bought a string of bananas again. And I've had this before, he's no longer with us because I'm pretty sure I kept overwatering it. I bought this at Home Depot and I couldn't believe how big it was already, but it's grown a lot since I've got it. All this stuff hanging from the bottom is new and pretty much every single vine has new growth on it. Um, I love it a lot. I do want to repot this because it's still in the plastic pot and I think it's staying wet a little bit too long because a lot of the um, bananas, I guess, on the inside are crispy and wrinkled and like dried up and there's a lot of dead stuff going on in there. Maybe I'll do that today. But I, I don't know, I was kind of afraid of, I don't know, bending these too much and breaking it, but I'm gonna have to get it out of the pot one, one way or another. Uh, even if some of them don't make it, it's still a big full plant and he'll be fine. But I decided to try again with this. I would love to get a um, string of 
dolphins again. That one is so cute. I want to get that one again. But yeah, string of plants. I'm doing better with them now. And then the last thing I want to mention are some pots. The cutest pots I've ever seen. I got them at Target. Uh, somebody had mentioned them on Instagram. Like, look what's new at Target. And I went multiple times to Target on the way home for work and they never had them. And then one day they did and they were all only a dollar. So they're these cute little, I don't know, ceramic pots, I guess, or maybe they're clay. I really don't know what they're made of. They're only a dollar. They do have a drainage hole so you can actually plant your pot, your plant in them. This one says proud plant parent. It's so cute. I put this little peperomia in here. I don't know what kind this is. He's new to me, but he's really cute. Uh, and I just think it's so cute. Love that one. I have another one here. This one says, I wet my plants. Isn't that so cute? And I just potted a small, uh, this is some sort of snake plant. I don't remember what it's, samurai, I think. I got this at Home Depot. It was like $3. And I think it's really cute. And I just love this little pot. I didn't pot it in here. It's in the nursery pot. It's stuck. But anyway, I didn't plant that pot. I didn't plant... I didn't plant the plant. No, that's not right. I didn't plant the pot. I don't know. You know what I mean. He's just sitting in the pot. And I love it. It's so cute. Um, where's the other one? Oh, here's the other one. They also had these little, like, unglazed clay. I guess you could probably paint them yourself. This one was also a dollar. It also has a drainage hole. So I put my Hoya Australis in here. It's just a little turtle. He's so cute. And look at him all cute with his little plant in his back. Uh, this plant, the pot actually is this big because I had to like pack soil in here all funny and I thought I was going to do the plant a disservice but the plant's doing well in this pot and he's so, so cute. I love it. They did have a couple of other ones. One says like give your time, give yourself time to grow and there's another one. I bought all of them and they're so lovely and they're only a dollar so if you're interested go check out your Target. This is another one I got from Target. I think this one was $3 though. This is so cute. It also has a drainage hole so you can plant your plant in it. That just sounds weird to say. Uh, it's this cute little, I don't know, is he a dog? Is he a cow? I think it's a dog. But I put in my philodendron silver stripe just because it looks like a wig and I love it so much. He's so cute with this little floppy wig hair. I don't know. I just love it so much. This plant is really easy to care for. I let it dry out. I also wait for it to go a little limp, like it might tell me it wants water because I'm afraid to overwater it. Really easy care plant, but I just think he looks so cute in his little dog planter. Isn't that so cute? I love it. But that is it. That's enough of me gushing over the plants and the pots I love for March. Let me know some plants or plenty things that you love for March. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And I'll see you later in another planty video. Oh, goodbye.